Santiago de la Varga, not bad, uh, out of Madrid, Spain, writes to me and he says, someone told me that an amplifier that doubles the power output when the impedance halves is a good hint about its quality. Yeah. When you have the impedance, the watts are doubled. So a 70 watt amplifier at 8 ohms should give 140 watts at 4 ohms. In my research, I found that not many amplifiers are able to do this. Is that true? And will that extra power be relevant or beneficial in comparison with an amplifier that doesn't double its output power? Well, Santiago, you are correct. Not many amplifiers do that, especially ones that are what I would call consumer audio. A receiver, for instance, almost none of them pay any attention to that, and they always have lower watts as the impedance of the loudspeaker doubles. Now, most high-end amplifiers, our amplifiers, for example, they all double. We, we make a point of them doubling in from 8 to 4, and sometimes from 4 to 2. And what that is tells you is the power supply, how many, how robust the power supply is of the amplifier, which is also indicative of the quality of the amplifier. Because power amplifiers, like pre-amplifiers, but mostly like power amplifiers, are almost all power supply. I mean, if you look inside of the typical power amplifier, I'd say 60, 70 percent of all that stuff in the chassis is a power supply. The big transformer, the big capacitors. I mean, it's a lot. And boy, it better be big. It better be robust if you're looking for great sound. And most of us are. You probably wouldn't be even be watching this channel. <laughs> so yeah, it's important that amplifiers double down and that's one of the ways that you can tell an amplifier is robust, is got a power supply worthy of the product and what and your time. Because if you're looking for a good sounding amplifier, do make sure that it at least doubles between eight and four ohms because then you know it has a very strong power supply. And that's good. Now is it a great sounding amplifier? Well, that's only the beginning. Now you actually have to listen to the thing in order to tell if they did the rest of it because it could have too much feedback. It could have, um, it could be bright. It could have overshoot. All kinds of things with power amplifiers that have nothing to do with the power supply, but at least find out that fundamental issue before you go on to the next phase, which is the listening test. And please do listening tests because amplifiers sound different. Yes, they do. All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.